can call me Senor. Eres Moreno. So, no soy Moreno. I say, Senor. Huh? Oh man. Lo, lo siento, I was I was feeling the madera. Capila Medela Milagrosa. Pretty interesting here in San Miguel. After further research regarding the term Moreno, Negro, I've come to the conclusion that after my last couple of encounters that you've seen in regards to me trying to put people in their place, that I will no longer show offense to the issue. Am I offended if someone says to me as I'm walking, Hola Negro! Why you gotta call me Negro? Huh? Pierre. I'll watch myself. Where about black? Everywhere you go. Hola Moreno! Hola, buenas tardes. Oye, Moreno. Why, why you gotta call me Moreno? Oye, ¿dónde eres tú, Moreno? But why don't you call me Señor? See, you call me Moreno, ¿por qué? What are you doing, my friend? ¿Por qué you call me, por qué dice Moreno? Tú no eres Moreno. So, you can call me Señor. Eres Moreno. So, if no I, Moreno. I say, Señor. Huh? Why you gotta look at the color of my, of my skin? <laughs> Señor. <laughs> They always call me by the color of my skin. For what? Call me senor, like everyone else. You call the next guy senor. Hey, Hola, senor. Man. Am I offended? I am usually not one to take offense. I am a person of color. Most people here are persons of color as well. But when they see each other, regardless of the different skin tones that they have, they don't reference each other by, the, by their skin, essentially. They say, hola, senor, hola, senora. They don't just randomly say negro or moreno. I'm not saying that it doesn't happen, but for me, I feel, if you're gonna see me, why call me by the color of my skin? Why not call me senor as well? So that's the offense that I feel in regards to that situation. I feel I, I'm a person just like the next person who is Spanish, who has the same type of color as you. Just call him senor, you call me senor, that's it. But, I do understand that in Latin America, and let me get away from this. Yes, yes. I do understand in Latin America, and even in Spanish, um, other Spanish speaking places, that Moreno can be a term of endearment. I'm not saying that it's right because I feel that at all times, you know, you should always be even killed when it comes to terms that could be offensive um, when it comes to color. But they put it into their culture to where it makes it a term of endearment. I don't think that's right, but it is what it is. I can't change a cultural thing. Um, and at the same time, they may call each other that as terms of endearment, but I just wish they don't call me that. So my next step is, when they call me that, I'm not gonna argue with them. Because many times they call me that with a smile on their face. Could it be considered racist inside their heart? Maybe or prejudice inside their heart, maybe, but I need to be more cognizant of my surroundings. Because each time that I try to say, hey, just call me senor, or I essentially try to ask them, why are you calling me that? It turns into almost a battle on the street and everyone is around looking, like looking at me wondering, is everything okay? Calm down, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Let me watch my back. You okay? I'm okay. No problem? Never. What they said the other guys? No, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want any of that. I can get murked out here, see what I'm saying? So I have to be cognizant of my surroundings and not cause a fuss over things that they may not even know is essentially an issue. Hola. So, 
as far as I'll go is I'll say, you can call me Senora, that's it. But I won't say, oh, why are you calling me that, blah, 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 because it's almost like fighting words because they're not used to being put in their place or asked questions about such a term that they usually call their kids when they're smaller and one turns out to be darker than the other. And they'll, you know, they'll call the, the darker one Moreno and the other one Chino or whatever other names that they use, I'm not sure. Um, but, you know, I don't like the Moreno and I don't like the Negro, but like I said, here in El Salvador, that's what they're doing and I can't do anything about it and I'm not trying to fight anyone. I'm trying to be safe, I'm here by myself and I'm here to learn. So this is a learning aspect. I'm not here to vlog. Yes, I'll show you all the different aspects of the area that I'm in, but I'm not here to vlog. That's not my purpose. My purpose is to learn. Hola! And so more learning to come in San Miguel, El Salvador. What other architectural gems that you know in a major city that is still standing after 116 years? Well, I have an architectural treat for you today, guys. Here we have the miraculous metal chapel here in the heart of San Miguel. Here on 7th Avenue North and at the end of the 4th Street West in the city of San Miguel, El Salvador rises the white construction of the miraculous metal chapel, a church with over 116 years of existence. This church as you see it right here is visited by Catholic parishioners. This place was used as a function as the San Juan de Dios National Hospital where a group of nuns from the Daughter of Charity arrived in 1880 who dedicated themselves to the care of patients. In 1904 with the vision of Sister Mother Morin, Mother Superior of the community, the construction of the chapel was promoted. She wanted to provide comprehensive care to the sick and their families so that the sick had, like an oasis, communication with God. For her, it was no longer a matter of just giving them medicine, but also giving them spiritual bread. The designer of the plans was Colonel Asuncion Azucina, who arrived convalescing from health to the health center. He listened to the claims of Sister Maria and took it upon himself to help. Each window, which you can't see at this time because it has a locked gated portion, has the name written of its author, year of design, and the city and country where it was created. So the windows were essentially created by France. But likewise, this neo-Gothic structure is only reflected in two churches in the country, the Cathedral of Santa Ana and the miraculous medal of San Miguel Chapel. So here on this Saturday, as you can see, no one is here at this time, but I asked a lady on the street who was out here selling fruits on the street as a vendor. She stated to me that later in the afternoon, this chapel will open for parishioners to come and worship. So I am a little bit early as it's only 1.42 on Saturday. So I am alone able to show you the outside structure. So let's take a look at the door. Let's look at the designs of the wood. You can see that it was definitely cared for in its 116th year existence. It's a cross of Christ right there. So I actually locked, knocked on the door, but I didn't expect anyone to come to the door. Hola, buenos tardes. Oh man. Oh, uh, lo, lo siento, I was, I was feeling the madera. Just uh, pelucila, pelucila. Okay, pelucila. Okay, gracias. All right. <laughs> I just let him know that it's a movie. But essentially, each window has stained glass that you would love to see, but I'm sorry that I can't show you because of this gated portion. But very beautiful stained glass. So they take this church very seriously. You would wonder why a church would have barbed wire, but hey, they do. Why? Because we live in a sinful world and things do happen where people want to break down churches for whatever reason in their minds. So it is what it is. They have electrified razor barbed wire 
all over the chapel grounds. But hey, it is what it is. There's nothing you can really do about that. Okay, here goes the grounds right here. Maybe I should have asked him to go inside for a tour, but it's okay. No reason to do that. All right, go ahead and show you a view of the side portion of the church. Nice white paint. They definitely doing their job to keep it up throughout the years. I guess he's come back out to see if I'm okay. Well, so that does it here for my viewing at the Miraculous Metal Church, which is otherwise known as Capilla Medela Milagrosa here in the heart of San Miguel, El Salvador. Thank you for joining me guys. Let's go ahead and check out some other views. Let's do it.